Okay, what's up everybody? Happy Friday! Welcome to your Daily Dose of Awesome, your live 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Now, today's topic, something that's actually come up recently that I need to address because it constantly needs to, you know, uh, I, I basically need to remind entrepreneurs that they're entrepreneurs. And that topic that I'm re relating to is that uh, our online strategies online recruiting strategies and affiliate programs compliant with my network marketing company. If you're asking yourself this question, then I will answer that question uh, once and for all for you. And uh, and, and uh, hopefully that'll that'll uh, put put that question to rest. But it's actually a pretty interesting one. And, and it's actually ultimately comes down to mindset, believe it or not. So let me uh, first uh, introduce myself. You guys don't know who I am. My name is Freddie Sabalas. I'm a lead generation and online marketing expert specializing in helping Home business owners, that's network marketers, affiliate marketers, and direct sellers, multiply their incomes using the internet. Now, I built my first six-figure network marketing business within two years of discovering the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro. And over the past 10 years, I've been responsible uh, overall for over $11 million in gross income into my home businesses and have helped our clients, which number in the hundreds, if not thousands, uh, create hundreds of millions of dollars in their businesses collectively. So what we teach works uh we've answered the question that we're going to answer today uh many times for our clients and uh if they basically uh, agreed then that meant that they were gonna you know succeed and and uh, produce uh an extraordinary income lifestyle and create an incredible brand online and if they didn't then uh we never heard from them again <laughs> so that's pretty much how it went uh so now if you're new to our training i highly recommend you subscribe to these daily uh lives that we do Every single day, Monday through Friday, at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, if you're watching this on mobile, on the top right corner of your uh, screen, you can pretty much uh, cl click on the top right corner. A little ellipsis symbol will show up, and then uh, a menu will pop up where you'll be able to like our fan page and also be able to turn on notifications, specifically for live posts. You want to turn on notifications for that. If you're watching this on desktop, uh, all you need to do is right above the description of this video, you need to click on the on the on the logo for Elite Marketing Pro, go to our fan page, uh, like our fan page, and then that same like button, you'll wanna uh, turn on notifications as well. So uh, with that said, let me just make sure we are live. And oh, great, okay. Oh, there we go, yeah. We are live. What is up, everybody? You know, if you guys are tuning in, uh, give me a shout out. Now also, uh, if you're new to online marketing, online strategies, and would like to learn more about how to build your network marketing or home business using the internet. Now that includes uh, via social media and more advanced uh, strategies that are more passive, uh, meaning the leads are coming in without uh, you actually prospecting them. They're actually requesting information from you. Uh, then go to the link in the description. Uh, you'll you'll be taken to a small form where you can fill out your 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 email, and we will send you a ten part recruiting series on how to actually do that. It's exactly the strategy I use. To build my first business and create financial freedom back in 2008 and so so that that's there for you hey melissa how's it going uh and so awesome all right so let's deal with this all important hey cynthia welcome all right let's deal with this important question the question is and it came up recently um because there's there's always concern and when when you're when you love your network marketing company and you're you're pretty much, you know, devoted to it and married to it, as many networkers are, and uh, you don't want to do anything to upset anybody. You don't want to ruffle the feathers, whatever. Um, and you start looking at different ways from well, the way, uh, you know, other people are building the business. Um, you know, ultimately, this question comes up for various reasons. Some, usually, it's not even the company that brings the issue up because the company has bigger fish to fry. And, uh, you know, most of the time the issue is being brought up by some sort of uh, uh, upline of some kind, whether it's a top earner or just somebody up in the food chain. Uh, you know, and, and uh, I'm going to share a little story because with my first network marketing company, this actually became an issue. Um, so I had discovered online recruiting strategies and I wanted to remain with my company. I wanted to say, I know you, you, this company was a well-established older company and, you uh, you know, I really wanted to, to make it work. I liked the people that were there. Um, I just didn't like the way they were asking us to build. And, and there wasn't really much 
uh, skill set based training. It was a lot of hype in the events, and I was just like, um, you know, I'm done with that. I want to build this business seriously, not just be hyped up on, you know, at, at, at every event without being, really being taught anything. So, um, so when I went online, I discovered a real process. You know, I was being spoken to like an adult. Uh, I was I was told that I needed to learn certain skills, and I was like, awesome, let's do it. And so I ended up building an online lead generation campaign that did not mention the company at all. So it was an online lead generation campaign uh, for people that would be interested in certain information. And it started working. I started generating leads for people specifically interested in uh, in something that, that my organization and company were offering. And so one of somebody uh, up higher up in the in the organization, so not the company, uh, basically found my, my capture page uh, that I was that I was promoting, and and basically uh, you know reported it to other people, and then uh, they ended up you know, re- you know sending out this like voicemail, and then it got forwarded to me ultimately. Um, like I literally I got the attention of the the higher ups. Not in the company, but in, in our team and organization. And basically said that I was risking my distributorship, um, risking my business by doing this type of stuff. That I can be terminated, whatever, etc. And, and, and so when I got that, what they expected my reaction to be was that I was going to, you know, I'll immediately stop what I was, what I was doing and, 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 you know, be, be afraid. They were, they, they sent me this voicemail that from the, from people that otherwise I wouldn't, you know, have any conversation with and, uh, basically said that I'm risking my distributorship and I'm like, wait, I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'm not mentioning the company. I'm not mentioning this, uh, this, this team organization. This is like my deal. And what it did more than anything is it, is it, it really pissed me off <laughs> that they were, uh, not only saying uh, I shouldn't do certain things, they were saying, uh, you know, they're essentially trying to scare me by, by saying I'm going to lose my business. And for me, when they did that, that was the beginning of the end for me for, for with that particular company. Um, and for a few reasons, because I'm not an idiot. You know, I, I, I know what, uh, you know, what I can and cannot do. And and the bottom line is, is, is your company... Now, usually these, these are scare tactics that are deployed by... Uh, top earners, so or top earners or people higher up who are who who just don't want to you know do anything different from how they did it. Um, again, I talked about this at length yesterday about the pettiness of a lot of uh, leaders in network marketing, where unlike most business leaders, they're actually afraid to evolve. They don't want to evolve. They they don't want to seek out the the latest and greatest uh, ways of doing business. Uh, they actually think in the opposite direction. So. And so that's, you know, that's unfortunate, but that's the truth. Uh, not everybody in network marketing, of course, there's a lot of uh, pioneers, a lot of uh, incredible leaders who are more progressive. And as I talked about yesterday, there's, I've met a lot of different network marketers who have built in a variety of different ways. So there's no one way uh, of building this business. It actually is, is pretty diverse. But, um, you know, but, but, you know, the situation that I went through just pissed me off because I felt like, for the first time, I was deploying something that made sense to me, that I was I was being taught actual skills, I was learning skills, I was generating leads of people that wanted to actually talk to me about what I was doing, and and then I was just being you know sh- you know shut. Uh, again, I wasn't using any company uh, brands or names or anything like that. And so the the bottom line is that uh, your company can restrict you uh, if you're using their company logos, their names, or anything related to the company. So bottom line is in all your marketing, you do not want to mention your company at all. In fact, uh, you know, you, not only do you not want to mention it so that you don't uh, run into compliance issues because they do have a right of restricting that, uh, you don't want to mention it for strategic reasons. It actually helps you to be blind. It helps you to kind of keep that under wraps uh, because then you become the, the focus, you know. The, the focus, rather than can this company help me accomplish X, Y, and Z, uh, the focus becomes can Fernie help me accomplish X, Y, and Z, or can Cynthia help me accomplish X, Y, and Z, or can uh, you know Jeannie or can Mary help me do this in my life? That becomes the focus, and that's actually the question you want people to be asking themselves, and you want to be answering for them as well. So uh, the company, here's the bottom line, uh, strictly based on compliance uh, and just you know, common sense, 
the company cannot restrict you from from creating an online brand period if you chose to start a website and start branding yourself uh the company legally speaking meaning you know cannot restrict you from starting an online brand they can't restrict you from starting another business that's not a competitor so you can't uh they can't restrict you from starting you know a, a you know a barber shop uh they can't restrict you from going into sales if you ever wanted to uh to you know say you wanted to make a switch in careers, you're still building your network marketing business, but you wanted to go into sales, selling timeshares or something else, they can't restrict you from doing that. Therefore, they can't restrict you from op, you know, participating in affiliate programs. Uh, Amazon has an affiliate program. If you chose to be a blogger tomorrow and start promoting products uh, from Amazon and start sending traffic to Amazon as an affiliate and get paid, there you are not violating any company policy whatsoever in doing that. You're, you're not, you know, you're, you, this is something separate from the business, separate from your company. And so the only thing a company can actually uh, legally do in terms of restricting you is restricting the use of their brands and, and products uh, and their names, which you don't want to be using anyway. Uh, so bottom line is that a company cannot keep you from establishing a brand. A company can't keep you from, from creating a separate business that's, that's not MLM related. And so, uh, or it's not in an MLM in and of itself. An affiliate program is fine. Now, uh, this is not the information that's spread by, uh, you know, le uh, leaders in the network marketing space who are obviously negative about about what what happens online because they just simply don't understand it, don't know how to do it, and are insecure about it. Um, the the information they the, the 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 intimidating tactic they use, much like they did with me, is that. Uh, you know that you can't you know that you're risking your business the company's gonna get upset uh, whatever and at that point in my business my business wasn't big enough so that I, I wasn't I was worried about losing something big and this is the other thing when when these threats come in from upline uh, to a distributor and uh, you know they're, they're, they're people are told they're gonna lose their distributorship and a lot of the times these people aren't making any money in the business so it's like what are you freaking afraid of losing uh, it, it makes no logical sense but Again, we've been so indoctrinated, we've drank the Kool-Aid in the network marketing space that our company is the best company in the world, they have the best products in the world, they have the best comp plan in the world, I don't want to lose them, or like my, my chances of financial freedom are over. And and the, the bottom line is when you logically look at things, that's ridiculous. There's literally thousands of companies out there, and and very likely there's a company out there with a better comp plan than, than you have. There's a company out there with a better product than you have. Uh, and, and, but the bottom line is the comp plan and the product don't make the business. You make the business. You can become a top earner in any company as long as you develop the skill sets to, to be a, become a top earner, regardless of the comp plan or the product. Um, not, that's not to say that the product or the comp plan don't matter, but it's such a tiny thing, uh, in, in part of the whole, you know, e equation. And so, uh, literally like, like if you're having these like emotional responses to, Threats from upline, not really the company. The company has better better shit to do. Uh, from from uh, if you having these emotional responses and afraid to lose the business, then screw it, lose lose the business. But it's not going to happen. Now, let me let me say, uh, the company may get involved if they don't like what you're doing. They may get involved when you're producing, when you have a top, when you're a top earner, when you when you have a big downline. They may, you know, try to get involved and try to control you. Now that does happen. So if you're a lonely, low distributor, they're not going to care uh, unless you're using their, their their brands and their product names, etc. Um, but now, once you're, you know, higher up, the company may try to control you. And at that point, again, everything I said applies. But here's the bottom line of of network marketing, and all the more reason why you want to brand yourself and create that security. You want to have your own brand. You want to create your own following because that's Ultimately, where you move from the S part of the quadrant to the B part of the quadrant and become truly independent. The reason, the reason, uh, you know, I built a brand uh, and I and that incident back back when I got, uh, was new in network marketing, why that propelled me to, to create a brand and create a success in my business. The reason is because I never wanted to be threatened like that ever again. I never wanted to be in the position where where I was I was too weak or lacked the resources to simply walk away. And, and that's what building a brand actually helps you do. And the bottom line is that as a distributor, so I've told you legally what, what, what you know, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an attorney, consult with your attorney, read your, you know, gu guidelines or whatever. Um, 
you know, I told you in most cases what, what the company legally can and cannot do, can restrict you and can't, you know, whatever. Now, here's the bottom line. If the company does not like the way you look at them, they can terminate your distributorship. Uh, you have no rights as a distributor. Uh, most cases, not uh, I think there's only one company that I personally know of. If you know another company, let me know. There's one company that I personally know of where uh, uh, the company, unless unless you break the law, the company cannot terminate your distributorship. Um, but otherwise, generally speaking, the company has full has the right to terminate your distributorship for any reason whatsoever. They don't even have to give you a good one, and that's the bottom line. Uh, you are not. So this is this is what I mean when you're when I tell people yeah, you're not in business. You're not in a business. You're self-employed. You can make a lot of money as a distributor of a company as a self-employed person, but ultimately, if you want to create true security and leverage and have control, you want to establish your own brand. You want to create your own following, so that the you know so that your company is a part of your business, not the entire deal. And because of that, because your company, if they feel they no longer want to work with you, they can terminate your distributorship, take away your income, take away your downline uh, without without notice, and it's happened many times. And so that's the bottom line. Uh, strictly speaking, if you decided to start creating your own brand, start a blog, and start promoting stuff on the internet, I mean, for me, that, that would be equivalent to me getting a sales job or, or becoming an affiliate of Amazon and because I'm doing something that's separate from the company. I'm not, you know, it's it's has nothing, to, the two are separate. Now, I, I can leverage those things as I build my brand. I can basically have one-on-one -on -one conversations and, you know, bring people into the business, and the people do that every day. Uh, people that are in real estate exploit their contacts. People that are doctors and uh, dentists exploit their contacts in in their businesses. So the company doesn't tell them, "Hey, you have to stop running your practice, or you have to stop being a lawyer because it conflicts with our deal." Of course not. And so, so legally speaking, that that that'd be ridiculous. But if the company simply doesn't like what you're doing, uh, Regardless of whether you're in compliance or not, they can terminate your distributorship. And to me, that's all the more reason why you want to develop the skill sets to become independent, develop your own brand, and 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 have the ability to walk away without worrying about your income going away. And so that's the, you know that's the bottom line. I want to uh, Tiffany uh, says so true. Need to be branding ourselves, not our company. Absolutely. So this is the reason. So those of you who are afraid. Uh, of getting your stuff to terminated by your, your company, well, one, it's most likely a scare tactic that's being deployed by by uplines to to kind of you know get you back in line. Um, but really, who wants to be in that environment where you're being intimidated to to not evolve? You're, you're being intimidated to restrict your knowledge. You're being restrict. You're, you're being intimidated into submission. Um, to build a business in a way that's not going to suit your needs and, and really is not going to help you anywhere. So bottom line, you're, you're in business for yourself. You need, you need to start making business decisions, not emotional decisions, not decisions related to your, your connection and friendship with your upline, but guarantee, guaranteed as soon as you decide, I, I'm not going to build this anymore. They stop being your friend. And so don't, don't fool yourself into believing that, uh, that friendship is a hundred percent real. And if they continue being your friend, uh, then that's a true friend. That's a true person. And I know very few leaders in this industry that don't take leaving a company personally. Uh, and those leaders actually tend to be the bigger leaders because uh, people remember that. When you say, when you wish somebody leaves your organization and you wish them luck, um, that person remembers that you were the only person ever to do that. And they tend to come back later because, you know, they see you're different. Um, and so, uh, awesome, Cynthia. Thank you. Uh, and so, but you need to make, start making business decisions on emotional decisions. What's in the best interest of your income and your future? And that's the bottom line and your family, not your friendships. Uh, I mean, and this is one of the reasons why I hate the indoctrination tactics of a lot of companies where they use religion or politics, uh, or other, you know, cult, cult, uh, you know, strategies to try to indoctrinate you because what keeps you in the business has nothing to do with the business ultimately sometimes. And that's not cool. Um, but you need to be stronger than that and you need to kind of see, see through that and, and, and start asking yourself the question, does it benefit me to stay with this company uh, or can I do better elsewhere uh, or, you know, can I do better with a different strategy? And ultimately, that's a decision you have to make. And uh, I'm hoping you, you make the, the decision that's the mature business decision. 
and I think you know what what <laughs> that would be. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, thank you, Crystal. I'm I'm glad you're loving this, uh, and and feel free to forward this, share this with uh, you know far and wide with as many people. In fact, I want you to share this. I want you to share this message. I don't mind uh, upsetting a few people down there. I've already done it many times. You know. Uh, I'm one of the most, <laughs> you know, among uh, among old school earners, I'm 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 not a very well liked person, and among progressives in the network marketing space, uh, you know, they're they're drawn to what we do here, at Elite Marketing Pro, and so share this far and wide, share the message, and uh, kind of, you know, this is one of those videos that kind of slaps people around a little bit and brings them back to reality, uh, and makes them realize that this is their business, and and if they if that if they are truly in business for themselves, they need to make businesses business decisions that will benefit them. So that's it for today, guys. If you guys want to learn more about branding yourself and building online, there's a link in the description. Uh, and uh, so go go check that out, the free 10-day video course on how I personally built my businesses, my home businesses, uh, never had an office, never had uh, employees, how I did that using the internet. Now, take care, everybody. Have an awesome weekend. We will talk to you on Monday. Uh, love you guys.